Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris, this is Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin here on YouTube and we have another weekend what's old for you guys. Kathy has set some things out. We were again thinking about recording at the storage unit, but we changed our minds because as you can see, it is really, really rainy. It actually just let up. Lots of hail, lots of rain. Our dumpsters were going down the street in the rain this morning. And I think we got a little bit of footage. A little like um, one of those phone Notifications just came saying flash flood warning till 4.30. Oh my and goodness. So I'm like worried that like the post office might, sometimes they randomly just close. Um, it's not like a real post office. Our local so, one, yeah. yeah. The one that we go to, it's in a bank. So sometimes they just shut, shut the shop down. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope they don't do that because yeah, the notifications like don't leave your house unless you absolutely <laughs> need to. So I do think the rain's gonna let yeah, up. I think we've had out. the worst of it, <laughs> but um, so we didn't we didn't do any recording at the storage unit. We brought it all back. Uh, we got soaking wet <laughs> just getting to our car, and so Kathy's gonna show you. Are you gonna show what we're shipping the things in today? Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Awesome. I did also want to thank Erica who bought us a coffee. She actually bought one last week too, but this time she said she forgot to ask us the question she wanted to ask. Oh. <laughs> but Erica, you did. Last time we said we were going to get Reese some, you know that. So we, we did that. So let me read this and then I'll give him one. He, he heard something. Um, so Erica <laughs> said I bought you a coffee and hopes you could answer my question. When I post on Posh, how can I avoid putting the bought for price on my postings? I noticed yours don't always have it, but Posh doesn't let me skip. Thanks for your help. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think what she was talking about is like, and we had this question on our live on Thursday as well. So That's like right. on a Poshmark listing at the bottom here, I believe where it says original price, mm -hmm. you're supposed to kind of like put like a retail price or something and then whatever your listing price is just to kind of like give the buyer, yeah, you know, an idea that they're getting a good deal, even though it's pre-owned or whatnot. Um, I always just put zero. So like, yeah, you can't bypass it altogether but you can put zero. So put that's zero. what I do for the most part. If it's like a super expensive, like several hundred dollar item that I'm selling for like maybe a hundred, yeah. I might try to put the retail price, but I'm not gonna go look up every H&M sweatshirt right. price and stuff like that for a retail. So yeah. I'd zero. say if you have something new with tag and it has a price on it, I'd put that price on there, right? Yeah, if assuming it's on the tag. sometimes I sell stuff for more than it retailed for, you oh, know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, or sometimes some brands you can, you know, they sell out and then if you want it, you have to pretty much pay close to retail. So, okay. I don't know. I just personally put zero. Um, We've unless, seen people put like 999, yeah, right? 999. Super high. Um, you could look up the retail if you want to and put that. Um, but yeah, I feel like people are looking for at least like a 50% discount off of a retail right. probably on a pre-owned item for sure. So. So short answer, zero. Yeah, that's that's what we do. <laughs> so zero nine nine nine. But there's like no that. hard rules. <laughs> so I guess that that's what we do. We yeah. do zero. And Reese, you deserve a treat. When we when I went to Posh Fest back in what twenty nineteen or something, they did have that like um, as one of their things on the screen saying, you know, if you do put it, it like does help. Like they had like statistics and stuff of oh, okay. how many more sales you might make if you do it, but I just never have done that. <laughs> Go All right. Boy. Well, thank you so much for the support. We do appreciate it. And Reese, <laughs> thanks you for his treats. Actually worked, he might come lay down. No, I think he's looking for more oh. over there. Look at him. You're scrounging, dude. Good boy, lay down. <laughs> he's like, all I got was one. You only gave me <laughs> you one. Get another one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mm. So let me grab this little thing. Look at him. She's not grabbing that for you. Okay. <laughs> so. For sale were these men's prana shorts. I picked up for $5.99, sold them on eBay for $20, 46 cents plus shipping. Nice. Those are under a pound, so we're gonna just do a mailer. Pulled some new patterns out today, so thanks to you all that have ordered shipping hip with our code. That's always appreciated. Yeah. Um, we do get a small kickback every time someone places an order, so yeah. Uh, we have it. It's our. Uh, a 15% off discount in the description of all of our videos. This is not a shipping it mailer. These are just <laughs> actually some free sendal mailers. I'm weird and I feel like it's men's shorts and they don't want a floral mailer. I know it doesn't actually matter, <laughs> but they're gonna get this boring sendal mailer. Hmm. All right, um, sold these ultra women's sneakers for $25 on Mercari. Um, usually you can get quite a bit more for some ultra. These are missing their insoles. Plus they're pretty you know, dirty and whatnot on the midsoles, and I did not clean them up too good. So yeah. I was happy with 25. It's close to doubling my money, about a $10 profit. Awesome. Um, those are under a pound, so also just gonna go out in a mailer. This one was shipping here. 
Okay, we got some bands. These I did pay up for at fifteen dollars just because they were I thought they were just so pretty. Yeah, those and are they were cool. Also, basically looked new with that box. So paid fifteen, sold for forty-seven with discount shipping. So I think that was worth it. Yeah. And they sold quick? Um, not super duper quick. Okay. Probably around 30 to 40 days. I feel like 30 days is yeah. quick. <laughs> That's quick for me. <laughs> so. Are you done, Probably Reese? Nice. If you're good, you'll get one afterwards. You're a good boy. It's like, right. go on, go lay down. Go lay down. I'm gonna do a regional V on that because I'm running out of medium flat rates, at least up here. And it's been raining every day, so who knows when I'm gonna go in our trailer and get more. <laughs> it's, I hate to complain about the rain, know, but it is, it's is—it's to the point where it's like, come on already. It's super green and everything is super beautiful. I have right not now. been able to mow the grass and it just won't stop growing because it's just so wet. <laughs> I'm complaining about you it. Are such a <laughs> All right, uh, this is going out to our viewer, Karen. So thank you so much, Karen. It's just a rip curl, like kind of rust terracotta color sweater. I picked this up for $5.99, probably sometime in the last fall, like it's summer now. so. It's been sitting a while. This weekend on Posh, I was sending out, I think 50% offers on like most of my clothing because I'm trying to do more shoes these days anyways, yeah. and especially any clothing that had been sitting a while. So Karen got the offer of 14 with discount shipping and accepted. So I'm probably making a couple bucks, but awesome. very glad to move it along. Yeah. It's a super cute sweater. So I hope you love it, Karen. Karen, thank you so much for the support. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, let me do regional B on that as well. Regional B. <laughs> okay. This is just one of my son's sweatshirts, H&M. I bought it off Kittizen for 10 a while back. He wore it and I sold it for eight on Mercari. So probably make in close to $7 back on that. Um, that is just gonna go in the mirror. This one, we're shipping hips Valentine. Okay. These Tevas were kinda cool. They're kinda like a thong sandal, but then also like a platform. Hmm. The actual model name of these was called Tiva Flatform, <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Um, I bought them for five, sold for 35 plus shipping. I believe this was on eBay, yeah. So, All right, yeah. it's flatform season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> hey, I made you laugh. You did. <laughs> you usually do that. I think that will, I'm gonna do just a mailing box. I think they should slide in there, so. Okay. So these Nike slides, I bought for $3.99, so for $16.36 plus ship on eBay. Those are under a pound, so a mailer. Okay, these I just bought because they're kind of like a broken stop lookalike, and they were in like perfect shape. The brand is, I think it's Aerothotic. Mm. So anyways, they didn't take super long to sell. Uh, they sold for $29 on Poshmark. Uh, I picked them up for $8.99. They were my size. So I was like, worst comes to worst, I'll keep them. But I probably made a $12 profit or so on those. And for Posh, I think those would do good in a mailing box. Yeah, box another so. flat one. Okay. So these Ulakai, kind of like a slipper. They have like the faux fur in them, but they also have a hard sole, so you can wear them outside probably. Picked these up for five, sold for 37 plus shipping on eBay. Those, I think those are sliding in the mailbox, probably. Uh, maybe, I'll let you decide. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to conserve my like shoe boxes and stuff that I use a lot. So. All right, here was a couple more clothes that I was just very happy to let go for at least a break even price. So this is a Prana tankini top. Um, I've had this probably for two plus years. Paid three dollars for it. Finally sold for nine with discount shipping, so I'm not losing money. Probably not making anything though. Yeah. Um, that I think we'll do a foldy box. Okay. These are some Susan Graver. I don't really know what that brand is, but I picked these up at the bins. I thought they were. Just a basic, nice work pant. Sold for 14 with discount shipping, so a few dollars yeah. profit in yeah. there. Yeah, not too bad for a Ben's find. Yeah, um, that one, we'll do a tie back for Posh. That was Posh, yeah. All right, um, these Converse, I thought I could probably get like 30 or so on them, but I didn't want to do the cleaning that I probably needed to do for that, so. Mm -hmm. So went off for 25, I had paid 10, so that was about doubling on my money. They've only been listed. 
a week or two. Um, like even here, yeah, there's like some pink marks. Yeah, yeah, they just weren't in amazing shape and they were like a size six or something. So, which usually takes longer to sell anyway. So I just took that offer and doubled my money. Okay. Big that. Some big chunky Regional Converse. B. Yeah. Right. These are some Skechers. Flax, bought for $5.99, accepted $25 on Posh. I don't know, everyone's getting a regional bee today. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is just a Life is Good tea. I've had these for a while. A lot of them sold off right away. A few stragglers. This one, bought for five, sold for $15.54 plus shift. So, horrible. We'll do a sendal since it's a man shirt. <laughs> okay. Did you guys hear that thunder? It's yeah. It's been thundering since, I don't know, midnight? Maybe like 11 o'clock last yeah. night? And the thunder was so loud, so it was like loud. keeping the kids up. It was like I shaking the house. Was gonna blow off. <laughs> it was a crazy night. Uh, all right, uh, these are some super cute Sam Edelman slide sandals, bought for five, sold for 31 with discount shipping. Those, maybe a regional A flat. You just wanting to be in the way, huh? <laughs> This is going out to our viewer, Christy. She buys stuff all the time, so thank you so much, Christy. Uh, this is the brand Free Fly. I love this brand. This actually was my personal shorts. I bought them for a retail minus like probably a 20 or 30% coupon they sent me in my email. I don't have the actual price because I don't remember, but the retail on these is pretty high. So mm -hmm. um, Christy bought them for 30 with discount shipping, so I accepted awesome. one of the, I think, Posture VA, maybe one of my high offers this weekend. So thank you, Christy. Awesome, you Christy. Love them. As much as I do, they're super stretchy and they're just like quick dry. Super comfy. I love them. Thank you so much yeah. for the support. So you were like sending all kinds of offers over the weekend and stuff? Yeah, mostly on Posh, just cause I want it more. We've been hung out since we're moving. And everything. Yeah. Even though we're not probably moving the inventory yet, or maybe at all. Yeah. I don't know. Just trying to like get some, there's a lot of house projects we want to do at the new house. So. Oh, yeah. Moving things that have been sitting a while, especially clothes, because I don't want to sell clothes that much. Right. And yeah. Yeah. So, just getting some money back in our bank. We can do some of the projects we want to do. Buying a house is expensive, guys. <laughs> <It's been laughs> I don't know wild. if you know this. <laughs> it's especially in 2020. So. Yeah. It wasn't as horrible back in what, 2014? I know. Yeah. All right, uh, this Barefoot Dreams cardigan, I have, I remember buying this like on January 1st. Like I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go thrift on first of the year. So what is it now, June? So it's taken six months. Uh, finally sold for 32 with discount shipping. So one of the offers I was sending out, uh, I bought it for 5.99, so decent little sale, but took a while. Um, cool. Yeah, they get a regional B. On this one, I think I made maybe just a few cents on after probably a year or two. This is the brand Mammoth, which is a great brand. Yeah. Um, that's kind of their logo. A little, what is that animal again? Like a, a woolly mammoth? Yeah, like a, little, a, a mammoth? Mammoth. Mammoth. <laughs> no H. So, I like this brand. It sometimes takes a while to sell. I've sold some of their like more technical pants and stuff for like around 100, but mm -hmm. this shirt wasn't anything super special. I paid 10 for it, finally sold for 17 with discount shipping. So That's interesting. Probably wouldn't pick up something super basic unless I yeah. either got a multi-quantity and could just make a few dollars off each quickly. And that's different than Marmot, right? Cause there's yeah. Mammoth and Marmot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Which one's better? Marmot? I think, well, I think this one retails for a lot more and it's like a better quality, okay. I think, but I don't think as many people know about it. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Um, these are some H&M linen pants, bought at the bins for $1.19, sent a really low offer of nine with discount shipping, so probably a couple dollars profit there. Let's do Tyvek. Okay, and then. Last one of the first half here are these Blundstone boots. So Blundstone's great brand to look out for. These are super worn. You can, I don't know if you can see on the, kind of yeah, like some drag. Kind of flat in there. They're also missing their insoles. Um, mm. You know, I noted all of that. The distressing, I don't know if that, these are pretty much distressed boots to begin with. I yeah. feel like they might be a little extra more than like they were at the beginning, but right. I think people like them like that. So yeah. I still paid $10.99 for them at Goodwill. 
and sold for 57 plus ship pretty quickly. Um, the thing I'm worried most about is that I did the size correctly because the size tag is missing, mm. but in the bottom of the footbed, it's stamped with a size, which I believe is whatever <laughs> whatever country they the are country of origin. and yeah is it uk I or did, no i can't remember i did some research when i was listing them up so i think i did it correctly okay. i also measured the soles and i also like put them up to other shoes that i thought were the same size us yeah so yeah it's not going it's global okay. ship or anything right no yeah. so worst case i get them back and i don't know or just say keep them and then i lost my 11 dollars for shipping but yeah yeah i think it's okay okay but that was a a chance I was willing to take because I love <laughs> for, my brand. So. Yeah, yeah. And they sold for a decent amount. Yeah, so we're going to go on UPS and we're going to do a brown box. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and get this first batch all packed up. And then we've got some more to show you. Yeah. All right, you guys. Got that first little batch packed up, ready to go. Kathy's got the other <laughs> half. And I saw some of the stuff is not quite bagged up. So yeah. then what's up? We were just, we hadn't got back to <laughs> the storage unit to put it away. It's Most been here. Most of those, yeah. I, if you come to our lives on Thursdays, I was listing those things. And yeah. I hadn't put them away yet or folded them or anything. So... I'm now telling you guys, <laughs> the rain has been, it's been miserable. Yeah. Like we have not wanted to go well, out. Yeah, Cause it's like, we can't do stuff outside with the kids. And then yeah. when we come back home, it's like calm time, but like it's never calm. <laughs> I know they've been calm all this, this whole time. So. Yeah. And we did get to, to go to the park yesterday. We took Reese up to a, a nice park here in Colorado. Mm -hmm. uh, he got to go on some walks. No. <laughs> it, it that was probably the longest stretch of no rain and we just took advantage of it for family time so, so i kind of um, like when stuff sells before i bag it though because then i'm like forced to bag it now yeah i gotta <laughs> and we saved those steps of having to take them and go pick them up in the storage so awesome um, so what do we got well i did also so these three are ones that like we didn't grab this morning because they came in after one of them was a viewer sale though so i did want to thank lisa you can put the screenshots yeah. up I'll grab these either tonight or tomorrow. So we probably won't do another Wetzel, maybe till next weekend. Mm -hmm. But I did want to thank Lisa. She bought some Skechers from us for $29 plus ship. I had bought them for $10.99. Awesome. And then I figured I'll just tell you these two. Lisa, um, thank you so much awesome. for that support. We do appreciate it. Do. And yeah, those will get Thanks sent out watching. very soon. Um, then I sold these little Vivo Barefoot kid shoes. I think I showed these in a recent haul video. Paid $1.50, sold for $22 with discount shipping on Posh, so probably $13 or so dollars profit. Okay. Um, those are pretty beat up, but yeah, Vivo Barefoot, even kids usually go for close to $30 in even decent shape. And then lastly was a Levi's denim jacket. It was like collarless, so I thought it was interesting. Picked it up for five bucks, sold for 47 with discount shipping pretty quickly, so. Cool. Yeah, that's those So yeah, are. like Kathy said, those all sold by the time we had already left. <laughs> so, so making some sales today, it it's about 2.20 right now, and we went out yeah. around 10 o'clock, so within the last few hours. All right, what is this? eBay sales, some Nike golf plates. I picked these up for ten dollars, sold for thirty-two seventy-six plus ship on eBay. Those just do like um. I guess I didn't grab enough shoe boxes. Shoe box. Um, sold a couple more of those Reebok shorts that I got from the garage sale a bundle. For $15.76 plus shipping, I have 50 cents into each, so dollar into 15 dollars Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Um, we'll get any more on those. Oh, these I just picked up maybe like last week. I love this brand, Kuru. These are men's pair. Um, I bought them at Play-Doh's. They were priced at 14 I did have a $10 off my whole total that day, so. Um, I probably paid closer to like twelve dollars on them. Um, sold them for fifty-eight plus shipping, pretty quickly. Yeah, very nice. We'll do a shoebox on those. Right. These are some Joseph Sebel clogs. Um, these have been listed a couple months. I think I had them listed like thirty-nine ninety-five plus ship. We had a sale running, and then a buyer message saying I'm willing to pay forty dollars total right now. So. I just sent them an offer of 31 plus shipping and they bought them right then. So I had bought them for $10.99. So $10.99 into 31. Okay. Yeah, those are going in a padded flat rate, I think. Yeah. 
Right, these little Nike Sunray sandals picked up at a garage sale last weekend for five, sold for seventeen, eighteen plus ship. Those usually sell super fast in the right season. Yeah. I'd say that's, you sold probably a hundred of those, yeah. right? Those Every Nike Sunrays. Once upon a child would have their like summer kickoff, I'd go and buy yeah. them and they have so many of those. So even though I pay sometimes up to $10 for a pair, if you can make five, six bucks and like, they're just so easy to yeah. list, they sell so fast. Bread and butter. Yeah. This is a cool sale. Um, these are Asics Onisuka Tiger, which I do sell fairly often, but I don't know what it was about these specifically. These are called like the Mexico 66. Hmm. Um, I don't know if it's this model, if it's like the non-tie, I don't know what it is about right. them, but these sold for $69, like within just a couple days of being listed. And they're a men's six, which is a smaller size, usually harder to sell. Yeah. Um, I just picked these up a couple days ago for $7.99, so great sale. Yeah, I don't know, most of these would sell for like maybe 40 to 50, but 69 was awesome. Very nice. So yeah, and that's, I listed them high because comps were showing those sales on eBay and stuff, so. So is Onisuka Tiger not the model number, model name? I don't know. <laughs> I always thought it was. a brand of ASICs, so right. I don't really know. Hmm. I don't know how that all works. <laughs> Let us know if you know. Uh, we'll do a medium flat rate for those. Let's see, what else do we have in here? These were just some of my son's old Converse. I picked them up at a Goodwill for 10. I think he wore them once or twice. Sold them for $22.92 plus ship, so still making some profit there. Under a pound, going in a mailer. Hmm, which one do I want? <laughs> What's this one? These are some JBU, like little floral. Mary Jane Flats picked up for five, sold for $24.56 plus shipping. Um, under a pound, so mailer. Pair of Skechers little booties, bought for $10.50, sold for $28.66 plus shipping. Um, those must have sold on eBay, so we'll do a shoebox. Very nice. Uh, these are those that he does from a garage sale last weekend, picked up for five, sold for $28.66 plus hey. shipping. Those usually sell super fast too, $25 to $30. I like when they sell fast, yeah. nice. Um, I think this is probably my highest profiting sale for the weekend. Uh, these Adidas messy soccer cleats. Mm. I did pay up for them at $16.99 at a Goodwill, but they sold for $131, 16 cents plus shipping. I think I profited like $99 and some change, which is awesome. Yeah. They sold, I want to say in a week or two, so really fast. I got so many messages asking if I would take less or what's your <laughs> best price. And since I had just listed them and they were getting so much interest, I was either ignoring the messages or just saying, this is my best price. Right. Yeah, that was awesome. Cool. I, yeah. I don't know much about soccer, yeah, but I, I, I know Messi. Like yeah, that's the Messi one soccer good. name that I know. Those were new attacks. So like, I, I still looked them up since I paid that much at them. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, well, I threw those in my cart as soon as I saw them. I'm like, these have to be good. Right. Good. I that's think a cool I found, colorway. Oh uh, yeah, that day I found, I don't think we did a video the other day, but if you watched our live, I sold a pair of total 90 Nike ones. Oh. Those over a hundred, I found them the same day and then one other pair. So that was a really good day at Goodwill. Good day. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so all the stuff that I just listed this week, like between Thursday, Friday, that has sold. This Patagonia Better Sweater was, so these were mostly our personal items. Yeah. That's kind of what I was listing just to, I was running out of thrift finds, and also since we're moving, I have a closet full of stuff that's personal that I'm like, I'll do that as my extra, but I never have time for the extra, so <laughs> yeah. counted them as my regular. Plus, it's all worse stuff, so I wanted to get this money back. So yeah. This one's over 35 on Posh in just a couple days. That's basically what they usually sell for, anywhere from 30 to 45. Um, I love this color. That is a nice color. Yeah. I don't remember what I paid for it, but making back 28, very happy with that. Looks good on our little red head. Yeah. <laughs> what was that posh? What should I do? Maybe just do um, a regional A. Oh, this one. <laughs> Okay. We did actually get the question recently, can you still use the regional boxes with Poshmark? And yeah. yeah, you can. And you can actually use them now with regular USPS, right? Yeah, so sometimes just, on eBay, if 
that one fits the item better. I'll just, you just do with yeah. the weight. And they count it as almost like a mailing box. Yeah. So um, if you have them, they are discontinued. So they're not making them anymore. And once they're gone, they're mm -hmm. gone. But now, for as far as we understand, I guess, don't take this for 100% truth, but the way we understand it, we have been using them as just regular mailing boxes with USPS, so. Yeah. Um, this is a viewer sale going out to Tracy. This was one of my personal shirts, Knox Rose, so like Target brand. I did buy this at a thrift store though. I think I paid around 10 because it was new at Tag when I bought it. Mm -hmm. And I did wear it a few times and then sold it. So Tracy bought it for ten eighty eight plus ship on eBay. Awesome. So thank you, Tracy. Tracy, thank you so much for the support. Yeah. We appreciate it. That's under a pound. So let's do a mailer. Um, these I bought for my son. I don't think he ever wore them, but they're vineyard vines, just really cute swim trunks. I bought them on Kitizen for twelve, and I sold them on Posh for twenty one. So I'm still making like five dollars profit. So pretty cool. And it looks like a bomb pop. Yeah. Or rocket pop? What are they called? Are they rocket pops or bomb pops? Bomb, bomb pops. I think you can. I've heard both ways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's we'll do a foldy box on that. Uh, this is another one of my son's Patagonias. This one I bought it once upon a child, I think for like 12 bucks. I don't know if he ever wore it, but I was like 12 bucks either way. I'll put it in his closet. If he wears it, he wears it. If he doesn't, mm -hmm. I'll sell it when he outgrows it. So sold it for 40 on Posh in just a couple days. Okay. Yeah. I'd say almost everything we've got for the kids has yeah. been bought secondhand. Pretty much. <laughs> so that's kind of how this whole thing started. So. Yeah. The original A flat there. Uh, this, they didn't say the reviewer, but I think you are, Jessica. So thank you so much if you are. Um, she bought a bundle on Posh. Uh, these are all, again, my kids' stuff. Some Billabong sweat shorts, some Billabong quick dry shorts, and then some curly joggers that my son did not want. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I let him decide and he didn't want them. So, I hope your kid loves them. <laughs> uh, $45 for the bundle Jessica offered. I was happy to accept. Cool. I don't remember what I paid for everything, but happy yeah. to make back $36 or so on that. Jessica, thank you, thank you so much for that support. <laughs> And this is also a viewer sale to Angela. Thank you, Angela. She grabbed, these are both my personal shirts, a LuLaRoe like hoodie, and then my Patagonia. You selling <laughs> your Patagonia? I had like four or five of these. Yeah. <laughs> I was packing our, up our stuff to move, like all my winter stuff. I was taking out of our closet since I won't need it for the next few months. And I was like, I gotta get rid of at least one of these. So this is <laughs> the one. Um, it's in really good shape. I hope you love it, Angela. So. Bundle sold for $126, 31 cents plus shipping. I did pay $104.79 for this to begin with. I wore it this winter, so. Hmm. Got some wear, pretty much. This was from Goodwill, I think, originally, and I did wear it, so. Okay. Thank you, Angela. I'm Angela. Making my money back here, very Yeah, happy. thank you so much for all of the amazing support. Angela's actually the one who yeah. got Reese his mm -hmm. very, very comfortable bed that he was so afraid of before. <laughs> now he like comes up when we're not home. Like, yeah, he'll sleep we'll up here. In on and him. he's just up here laying on it. So <laughs> yeah. he got used to it eventually. All right, and then last deal was this Finn and Vince. This again was my son's. He never wore it. Probably losing money here. I think I paid retail, which says it was $36. Um, yeah, sold it on Kitizen for $32.40 with free shipping, and shipping was $4.85, so I'm probably making back like $25 or so. Okay. But yeah, this was going to be for fall photos. It just didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, so that one we will do just a mailer, and then Angela's. I'm going to send you UPS. All right. All right, so I think we'll go ahead and pack the rest of the stuff up off camera. This has been a little bit of a longer video than usual, but we had a lot to go over, so <laughs> let's get to packing. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for all of the support. We do appreciate it very much. I think we promised Reese a one last okay. treat, and he's like wondering where it's at. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and with that, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.